Hello, my name is Maria Colgan. I'm one of the product managers for the Oracle database. In this video, I'm going to share some SQL tuning tips. If you need more of those, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, imagine you've been called to help out with the SQL performance problem. Let's say we've got a slow running query on our largest partition table, and it's because we're not getting the partition pruning we expected. Where do you start? Well, the first thing you want to do is find out what the SQL statement in question looks like. And in this case, it's a single table query against our sales table, our large table. And we see there is a where clause predicate on the time ID that should limit it down to just six months worth of data. So why aren't we getting the pruning we expected? Well, let's look at the actual plan. We see there that it's partitions one through 28 that are being accessed and the partition range all would be an indicator that perhaps we're touching all of the partitions. But to find out that for sure, let's do a few internal queries. First, a quick count star, so we know that sales really is a big table. Then I wanna join user part tables and all part key columns to find out the partitioning strategy. So it looks like we're range partitioned on that time ID column used in the where clause, and we've got 28 partitions. Let's take a closer look at the plan. I wanna add the gather plan stats hint to the query and use the format all stats last to get a more detailed execution plan. I'm more interested in the predicate information underneath that plan because in order to get partition pruning, the where clause predicate needs to be used as an access predicate. Now, if you're not sure what an access predicate is, let's do a quick recap. An access predicate is a where clause predicate that's used for data retrieval or to access the data we need to answer the query. And you typically see an access predicate underneath the execution plan in the predicate information section if I've got something like a start or stop key for an index or a set of partitions that I'm interested in, or if somebody passes the row ID to a full table scan, i.e. from an index lookup beforehand, gives me the row IDs and then they get passed to the table scan. So that's an access predicate. If it's not an access predicate, the where clause predicate is treated as a filter predicate. And these are predicates that are used after the data has been retrieved to filter out unnecessary data. In my example here, we're gonna do a full table scan on my users, and then we'll apply the like predicate we have there in the where clause predicate after all of the data has been retrieved. So the first clue we have is that our where clause predicate is being used as a filter predicate and not as an access predicate. But if we take a closer look at that predicate information, we're going to see that we also see something else that's suspicious. We see that there is in somebody's inserted an internal function call to our where clause predicates. So where did that internal function call come from? Well, the internal function call typically means a data type conversion has occurred. A data type conversion is needed when the column type and the predicate type don't match. So for in our example here, our predicate has a two char on the time ID column. That time ID column is actually a date and we're trying to compare it to a string. So we need to do that character conversion. And unfortunately, by wrapping the two char function around the time ID column, the optimizer has no idea how that function will affect the values inside the column and therefore can't determine which partitions need to be accessed. So how can I fix this type of problem? Well, the good news is it's a simple fix. You want to rewrite the query to use the inverse function on the other side of the where clause predicate. So instead of doing a two char on the time ID, do a two date on the string so that we can do a proper date comparison. That will allow us to be able to get the partition pruning we want. Let's take a look at the default plan now. As you can see, we're still doing a full table scan of sales, but if we look in the P start, P stop column, we see that we're accessing just the six partitions we want. And if we look at the predicate information, now our where clause predicate is being used as an access predicate and there's no internal function being listed there. So a couple of things to remember when it comes to partition pruning. Try and place the function on top of the constants or the literals inside in your where clause predicates rather than on the column values themselves. And you should also avoid using a function on an index column or a partition key, as that's gonna prevent us from being able to use the index or getting partition pruning as we saw in this example. And if you have multiple predicates involving the same columns, make sure that you write those predicates in such a way that the shared expression can be um, 
common in both. So for example, if we've got a where clause predicate, that's got a function wrapped around the column A equals B, and then A equals C, you really should rewrite that query so that it's A equals the inverse function of B and A equals C. That way, the optimizer can add the transient predicate uh, of inverse function B equals C. And that allows us to potentially open up different access methods and different join orders when we can add those transitive predicates automatically. To get more information about SQL tuning and the optimizer, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the official optimizer blog or SQL Maria blog, or by taking a look at the Oracle documentation. Thanks for joining me today.